Okay, so this is an exaggerated example, but you cannot clearly see hippocampi on CT scan and you need to use MRI. And here that you can't see anything. So we bring in an MRI, we fuse it, and now we have to contour the hippocampi. And the hippocampi are always going to, my, the way I like to do it is I like to find the lateral ventricle and I like to find the horn of it, which is like the most inferior tip of it. And once I get to the most inferior tip, I'm looking for a black smudge here. And I'll say that um, in this case, I really need to adjust the window to be able to see uh, the, the contrast better. And this is what you're looking for, something that, that looks darker, that looks um, kind of like similar size to how much ventricle is there. And this is going to be the um, beginning of the hippocampus contour. So I'm going to draw this here. And I'm going to scroll down to make sure I'm, I'm beginning at the very lowest point. And yeah, so it's, it's about where the, the tip of the ventricle disappears. And then I'm continuing to contour this. And if I'm not sure about a slice, I can skip it and I can always interpolate. It's going to get a little bit uh, bigger as you get higher up. And uh, these slices, it's, it's a lot easier to see than it was down in the middle. Um, and you keep going. A common mistake is to stop too early. You want to go until you stop seeing um, that uh, gray uh, outline of the hippocampi. It, it does keep going up here. And then right around here, sometimes it starts to get a little uh, flatter. And uh, this is a, a part of the hippocampus that a lot of people uh, miss. Yeah, and there. Uh, Maybe this is the last slice I can see. But I don't see any grayness anymore here. So. And I'll interpolate. And I'll smooth this just a little bit. And yeah, that's my hippocampus. Um, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, go down to the uh, horn of the lateral ventricle here. You're looking for a uh, dark gray. Uh, this one is very hard to see. I can see it here. So you just need to find your starting point. And that's about the end of where I see it. And now uh, you just go up. Um, here I can see it pretty well.
it's starting to go in a little bit. Kind of gets that flat shape. And it's very hard to see beyond this. Let's do this. And um, yeah, and then I'll scroll back down. I see I skipped this one because I couldn't see it as well. Uh, but now that I'm on this slice, I can see it outlined here. And then here, I see that this is actually it too. So yeah, sometimes it's a bit of an iterative process that you'll, you'll see the slices that stand out the most to you. And uh, yeah, so then I'll smooth this. And then the last step is you make a hippocampal avoidance structure. So in this case, I will make a, um, do a, a Boolean operation um, where I will take the two structures that I just made I'm going to add five millimeters. I'll copy, call it a hippocampal avoidance. And this is what I will subtract from my PTV when I'm planning. And I will base, I, I will use the hippocampi themselves as the OER, but I will subtract the hippocampal avoidance from the PTV. Thank you very much.